is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i'm going to be showcasing the wwe action figure elimination chamber if you guys don't know this is the actual jack's official scale wwe elimination chamber with the ring this is not the official ring that came with the chamber but this is the wrestling superstore copy which is a direct replica of the jack's real scale ring that did release a few years back and I am super duper excited for this thing. I want to give a huge shout out to my man Chase from Burnout Inc. for making this video even possible. We're going to be doing a lot of things with this chamber and they would not be possible without the help of my boy Chase from Burnout Inc. Guys, go follow him on Instagram. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Very creative mind. Very beastly creative mind. And just an amazing collector in this hobby, in this community. Very talented at stop motion, customs, everything around the hobby. He literally inspired my channel. He is one of the big inspirations to me. And without him, this would not be possible. So definitely go give your thanks to him, guys. And I am so appreciative, Chase. You're a beast. I love you to death. And I'm so glad to call you a friend in this community. But here we go, guys. This is the Elimination Chamber. I set it up here in the MDT Arena. I did just finish MDT Live. MDT Live will be going up this week sometime. I'm currently editing it, but this thing came in the mail, so I had to drop everything that I'm doing, stop editing the show, and showcase this thing to you guys. So everybody knows that on Sunday, Elimination Chamber is coming up, guys. We have the Elimination Chamber on Sunday. I'm super duper excited for it. I would say that it's probably my third favorite match type. I mean, you got the Royal Rumble number one, you got the Money in the Bank ladder match number two, and then of course you have the Elimination Chamber. I think that this has the makings to be a great one. You have great competitors editors in it this year. I'm super duper excited for it, guys. But let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of this Elimination Chamber playset. All right, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It did take me a while to build this thing. Thankfully, Chase did include the instruction manual, and I'm super glad that he did because without this instruction manual, it would all be in pieces in the middle of the floor. But here we go. Um, I assembled everything. I even put the roof on it. I felt that that would give it the more realistic look. When I actually film in this thing or do anything with it, I'll probably have to either remove a portion of the roof or remove, I don't know what I'll have to do, but it does swing open. Uh, let me move these lamps out of the way. It does swing open here in the middle. It disconnects and you guys can see it's a bit wobbly. I honestly could not figure out everything, but it does open up like so. I'm just going to use that lamp to sort of prop it right there, but then you open up the other side and we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to prop it on this lamp. So you prop up your roof on the lamps and then you are free inside. You guys can see here the MDT Live ring is set up. We have all of this good stuff. Honestly, I'm probably going to have to invest in some more lamps, maybe hang some lights from up there to get better lighting in here. But you have all four chambers. They're very nice. They're this plexiglass material to replicate it. They do not break away, which is sort of unfortunate. You know, we would love to have that breakaway moment with Goldberg and Jericho or, you know, Braun Strowman throwing Roman Reigns through it, I do believe. I think even Sheamus um, got thrown through one or Daniel Bryan. And, you, you know, you open up the door right here and you just flick this open and you slide the door completely out. I did get it back in there. So it's not very difficult, you guys. You just uh, slide that back right there. You have all the chain link fence, go, uh, fence going all the way around. You know, the, the solid steel. This is what people get torn up on. Obviously, the real Elimination Chamber looks a bit differently. This is based off of the older version. You know, now we have like the square looking pods. We have like the padded floor. This is the solid steel graded floor, which I like a lot better. You know, we want people to get hurt in this thing. How are they going to get hurt on, on the padding? Something that Jax did, and I actually applaud them for this, is they put the chambers, instead of putting the chambers in the corners like the actual ring is, they put them in these spaces. And I think they did that just because it allows this thing not to be so massive because if you put it in the corner it's going to move this back at least another three to four inches and that's going to make this thing almost I mean you guys can see it's already sticking over the table just a little bit so can you imagine if this thing was even bigger I think that uh, it would actually be massive as crap and I think that's probably why they've never remade this thing is because of how big it is and how much space you need just to even have this thing um, I know it's not completely accurate as far as uh, I do need to rotate it a little bit. Obviously, when people come to the ring, they don't just run straight into a chamber. I think that I'm going to have to, you know, manipulate it a little bit, slide it to the left or right, but we'll get into that later on in the week. But I did want to get this review up to you guys. I am super freaking excited for it. I've never actually owned this. I've never actually felt it in the hand and got to play around with it, pose figures around in it. So you guys can be looking forward to that on Instagram. You guys can be looking forward to that on YouTube this week. We're going to be doing a lot of cool videos revolving around Elimination Chamber and the pay-per-view itself. One thing that I'll also add is that when the roof is shut, you obviously cannot stand up here. So that is kind of unfortunate. I wish that, you know, they had enough room. Something that might could work is you could buy another elimination chamber or maybe you have two maybe you're a madman and you actually have two of these play sets you could probably put another 
um, fenced border around it, maybe duct tape it to this one and then put the roof on top of that one and then you would have an extra, you know, six inches of space and maybe then you could put people on top of it. That's just my creative mind sort of going to work there. But you would literally have to have two of them or you would have to have a makeshift fence to put above here or something like that. But I love this thing. Again, huge shout out to Chase for making this video possible. I am in love with it. I cannot wait to get in here and start moving around and doing stuff. We also have, after the MDT Royal Rumble, we do have our MDT Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. It's not going to be called Elimination Chamber. It's going to be called something really bad. I can't wait to reveal that to you guys, but we do want to get through the Royal Rumble before we reveal that. And uh, there is going to be an Elimination Chamber match that does take place so you guys can also look forward to that i believe that is it for this elimination chamber i can't think of anything else i know that it may have be missing the steps i think in one of his reviews of this chamber he did talk about the steps missing also there's some part where the door is supposed to open i think it's right here there's like little clips um, where you open it it swings open and that's where the superstars will get in i'll probably use these steps or something i don't know what i'll do exactly but here's the steps um, that I'll probably use and we'll get going but uh, that pretty much does it for today's video guys I told you it would be a double upload and I wanted to get this chamber review up to you guys and you can again look forward to videos look forward to the predictions coming up and uh, some other things so thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy again go sh uh, go subscribe and follow Chase from Burnout Inc on Instagram and YouTube thank you guys for watching this video subscribe to my channel if you enjoy epic WWE action figure videos Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.